So the next thing that happened on NXT. Now, before we talk about the next match of the night, we got to talk about a few segments. So, yeah, we see Trick Williams. He walked up to Ethan Page, and he tried to tell him that he'll call it down straight in the middle. And then Ethan Page was like, yeah, right, you're not going to do none of that. You're going to make sure that Joe Hendry wins this match so you can get your hands on the NXT Championship and all that. So, yeah, that's what he says there. And then Trick Williams says that you will be playing by my rules, and that will be it. So, yeah, that's what that happened there. And then at one point, we actually see Rich Holly getting interviewed, explaining why. Well, he didn't really explain why he attacked Chase U. He just did it. So, yeah, that's what happened there. Uh, probably will be more of an explanation on NXT or something. So, yeah, that's what happened there. And then we see um, there was another tag team. But, yeah, they was talking about how they're going after the NXT, the NXT tag team championships. I forgot who it was. But, yeah, that's what happened there. <laughs> and then up next, we get to the match. It was the NXT Women's Champion, Roxanne Perez versus Jada Parker 101 for the NXT Women's Championship. This match, it was a pretty good one. Both of these women was beating the hell out of each other. The crowd was into it and everything. Roxanne was going after the injured ribs of Jada Parker beating her down and everything uh jada parker tried to do everything that she could do to try to become the new nxt women's champion at one point uh roxanne was trying to hit pop rocks but jada reverses it by knocking her off her back and then roxanne hits like ropes and stuff so roxanne was like on her knees but close to the ropes and then jada parker hits that hip attack onto roxanne perez which knocked her out of the ring so jada parker got out of the ring she sees roxanne close by the barricade like by the timekeepers area and then she tries to hit another hip attack on the roxanne through that barricade but roxanne moves out of the way but jada parker goes through the barricade and then while in part of the barricade and whatever was on the floor like laying flat on there and then uh, Roxanne decides to hit Pop Rocks on the Jada Parker onto that broken piece of the barricade on the floor. And then they both barely made it back into the ring by the count of nine. And as soon as they made it back into the ring by the count of nine, uh, Roxanne sees Jada Parker getting back up. And then she hits Pop Rocks again, pinning Jada Parker for the one, two, three. So yeah, Roxanne Perez defeated Jada Parker tonight in a one-on-one -on -one match to retain her NXT Women's Championship. That's what happened. Great match. For that match, I'll give it four stars. That's why I'll give it. It was a good one. I would say that was Jada Parker's best match yet. But yeah, that was a really good match between those two women. But then, all of a sudden, we see the debut of Julia. She debuts in NXT. So the rumors are true and everything, obviously. She comes out there and she gets face-to-face to the NXT Women's Champion, Roxanne Perez. So yeah, it looks like she'll be the next challenger next. Definitely can't wait for that. But yeah, uh, I think up next will be the main event, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Till then.